okay so welcome back uh, to the tutorial video of body plot so in previous slide we have studied uh, up till fifth step um, that means first step s is equal to j omega we put the j omega and then we found out the corner frequency and uh, then after we draw the magnitude table in fourth step uh, we have considered the lowest and higher frequency fifth step we found out the magnitude at each frequency level and uh, we have also understand uh, how to decide these values how to decide these values <coughs> according to um, uh, your magnitude as well as frequency so uh, now we have um, uh, frequency i mean this four frequency omega is equal to 1 omega is equal to no, omega c is equal to 10 omega c is equal to 1000 omega is equal to 10000 and uh, we have also magnitude uh, at omega is equal to 60 omega c1 is equal to 40 omega c2 is equal to minus 40 and omega is equal to minus 100 degree. so let's put these all values in this graph so this is omega l is equal to 1 <coughs> mm. and this is nothing but omega l and this is uh, omega c1 and this one is omega c2 and this one is omega h okay so at omega l our magnitude uh, value is 60 so we have con uh, i mean uh, this is the 60 db so we have taken here consider here 60 db at omega c1 we we found out that magnitude is 40 db so this is nothing but the 40 db and at omega c2 that means the 1000 uh, radian per second we have the value is equal to minus 40 db so we have put here minus 40 db and the last at omega h we have magnitude value minus 100 db so we have taken here minus and now what you have to do you have just take a scale and join these uh, points like the first point you have joined from this to this that means omega l to omega c1 again omega c1 to omega c2 and omega c2 to omega h you will find out that your magnitude plot of your body graph and automatically you will find that this is the first uh, slope will be equal to minus 20 db per decade the second slope will be minus 40 db per decade and the third last slope will be equal to minus 60 db per decade you can verify even because the first value is 60 and it is it has the decrease of 20 db per 10 uh, slots so that's why it is called minus 20 db per decade okay and uh, in the next uh, um, slide I will discuss about uh, how this slope is being considered like, see here uh, I mean we have considered terms as well and corresponding their uh, slope so if you are taking terms like s s square these all terms are in numerators and these all terms are in uh, denominators so if you are taking any term which uh, like s or g omega because we are putting s is equal to g omega it, it will give the slope of plus 20 db per decade and if you are taking the denominator term i mean you are not taking if it is given as s square in terms of s square so it or g omega square it will give the slope of plus 40 db per decade and similarly if it has the third power that means s cube so will it, it will give you the plus 60 db per decade slope even even though it if it is in the terms of like a plus s um, a plus s means any constant term 2 plus s 3 plus s even though 1 plus 3 s 1 plus 5 s or a, no, 1 plus a s like that only we have to look at here the s terms you do not have to consider any constant or any other terms if you have any value of s in numerators so it will give plus 20 db per decade slope and if any's values it is have a square terms i mean of s so it will give the plus 40 db per decade of slope and the next one is uh, if the s term is in denominators like 1 by s 
1 by s square 1 by s cube so the 1 s terms will contribute minus 20 db and 2 s terms that means s square n terms will contribute minus 40 db per ticket and 3 s terms will contribute minus 60 db per ticket similar fashion we don't have to consider any constant terms any other terms we have to consider only s terms or g omega terms because only s terms will contribute uh, slope so here because there is a 1 divided by a plus s so there is a only s terms in denominator so it will contribute minus 20 db of slope that's why from uh, this matu table we have considered here 1000 by j omega so there is a single omega terms in denominator it contributes minus 20 db for decade slope and the second one again we have only one terms in denominator of j omega it also contributed minus 20 db slope and so on so let's um, go through briefly about that how to draw the border plot so first step we have taken the transfer functions and put s is equal to j omega mm, s is equal to j omega uh, in g of g of s and then we have started with the magnitude plot so, mm, the first step is to find out the magnitude plot is find out the corner frequencies then magnitude table choose the lowest and higher, highest frequency then find the magnitude at each, each frequency so um, like s is equal to g omega we have put here corner frequencies the uh, way to find out the corner frequencies omega c1 is equal to 1 divided by this terms that means constant term 10 radian per second here omega c2 is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.01 because we have only two corner frequency and one important note is that it should be always in the uh, form of 1 plus tf ts if it is not then make it in the form of 1 plus ts and then find out the corner frequency then matu table again matu table have uh, four terms uh, uh, a term corner frequency slope and change in slope the term will depends upon the um, how many terms it has uh, i mean some for example you have only three terms this constant and this terms, uh, term term is constant first term the second term and third term and the terms order will be depending upon the uh, corner frequency and uh, increasing order will keep this one and then uh, we'll take the lowest frequency and highest frequency step four so lowest, lowest frequency will be always less than your first corner frequency and the highest corner frequency highest frequency will be always than your maximum corner frequency then we'll find out the magnitude at each level we have only two formula to find out the magnitude first one is the 20 log first term that is for first two term and uh, from third on, uh, onwards we have the formula slope from omega c1 to omega c2 into log omega c2 by omega c1 plus the magnitude at the previous values and then after the semi log graph plot in the semi log graph plot this is the uh, horizontal axis in the frequency vertical axis is magnitude in db So uh, that's all. And each uh, frequency, uh, at each corner, I mean each frequency, just put the magnitude what you have got and make it uh, a scale with your um, a scale, and you will find out the your magnitude plot of your body plot. Now the, in the next slide, we'll discuss about the phase plot. I will draw in the same graph, same graph uh, phase plot also, and then our complete board uh, graph will be over so hope so you learned uh, you have understand this concept of drawing border plot uh, and if you have any uh, queries or any um, problem in understanding this concept so you can mail me on uh, this email id hari mohanda at the red gmail.com or you can visit my uh, website hari dot wordpress dot com so thanks for watching uh, we'll discuss further in next slide. Thank you.